Hello, this is Bridget from The Planner Speechy, and today I'm going to be recording a plan with me for the second week of June 2020. Um, for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. Uh, for those of you who are returning and got a chance to look at my plan with me last week, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to be using a mini kit from Charlotte's Paper Company. This is a truly mini kit, and because it's so small, I'm going to be pulling in reinforcements from some of my previous sticker kits. So I'm also going to be using this um, washi and date cover set from Chic Blossom Prints. This was an extra oops set that I got from them. And these are some of the stickers from last week's kit that I didn't actually get to finish using. So I think I'm going to make great use of these because the colors, they're a little bit off, but they definitely match. I'm going to be covering with my date covers from Charlotte Paper Co. from a separate kit. Uh, this is my running date covers list, so I plan to use all of these dates within the same month. So I'm going to get started just by putting some of these date covers, dates down on the date covers. Um, so for those of you who are new to plan with me's, basically the way this is going to work is I'm going to talk through my process, explain how and why I use certain stickers the way I do, and um, just a little couple of personal things here and there. If you would like to leave any comments about what you want to see from me, uh, please feel free, and I'll be looking out for those as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is put the date dots on for the days of the week. And for those of you who have been following the news um, and regularly supporting and donating the Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter movement, um, thank you. Uh, this is not a channel where I can talk about politics in a way that's going to influence or not influence your decision, but just so you're aware, I'm not going to shy away from talking about these topics, so if that's not something that you're interested in hearing about, um, you don't have to leave any negative comments, you can just choose not to watch. Uh, I have been, over the past week, doing a lot of self-reflection, and I have to say I've been very angry about a lot of things, particularly the way the police are attacking protesters, and I've been watching a lot of really important documentaries and reading some great books, so I will leave those resources in the um, video caption below. But really, you know, I am not a person of color, but I do consider myself an ally. I'm anti-racist, and I'm glad that this movement is bringing so many people into the discussion, and hopefully we'll see some real political change in policies over the next couple of days. Um, but for now, I hope everyone stays safe, and I just encourage everyone to educate themselves and really self-reflect and think about what your actions or lack thereof are doing for this community. So that's my, I, I couldn't do this video without acknowledging. I think if we're going to talk about planning and we're going to talk about planning for specific weeks, it's important to talk about what is going on in that week. Um, so there you go. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to put these washi strips down. And you can't really see very well on the video, but there, this is an Archer and Olive dot grid notebook. So it's not technically like a normal planner, but it is um, it is something that, oops, sometimes these things rip. Uh, what I like about planners in general and what I like about bullet journaling in general is you can really do what you want with it. It is your, it is your tool. So, oops. Um, might have to edit that part out. This is your tool to plan for your week. And so just, uh, the nice thing about a doc grid is it gives you the template to really plan, but it doesn't, um, it doesn't require you to do one thing or another. And that's kind of what I love about this system. I have been bullet journaling, not like this, but regular bullet journaling since August of 2016, which is quite a bit of time. It's probably the longest habit that I've been able to sustain and really keep to um, for a while, you know, and that's saying something too, that it's a system that keeps you accountable for your time and your energy. But basically the idea of making it look aesthetically pleasing is that you want to come back to it and that you want to continue to refer to it and make it your own and personalize it. So I think that is important too. All right, let's see if I can <laughs> put these down without messing up the spacing. So, 
All right. And for those of you who are new to the channel, I'll just mention again, I am a full-time graduate student getting my master's degree in speech language pathology. And I'm in my second year technically of the program, but I've really been in this program since fall 2018 and I had to take foundation coursework. So, um, <laughs> I've been in this program for quite a while and I'm definitely getting ready to want to graduate. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do, let's pick this very lemony, <laughs> this very lemony sticker here as the picturesque placeholder. And there we go. Okay, so I'm actually going to try and do something a little different, which is I'm going to try and do the whole sidebar setup first. So first things first, I'm going to lay down my check boxes. I've been using these to track my medicine to make sure that I've been taking medicine. Last week I had a no spend and um, no alcohol as well as my medicine, which um, the no alcohol was in, sort of intended to be for the whole week, but I honestly fell off the wagon and so um, I just kind of like, I'm not an alcoholic by the way. <laughs> um, I was just trying to be more conscious of what I've been consuming. So it was helpful to see all of that laid out in writing. Sometimes that's what you need, you know? Um, okay, that's gonna be where I'm gonna put my quarantine week sticker. And then I have these silver uh, things here. So we're just gonna do, you know what? I'm gonna stick this right here. Maybe cut off a little bit of this lemon, but that's okay. We're gonna do a mixed metals because uh, we're gonna have silver foil and gold foil. Again, I don't care. A lot of people care about this, I don't. <laughs> But let's see, I'm definitely gonna use the important, the happy mail, and the spending stickers because those I find to be useful. I've been doing a lot of online spending lately. It's sort of how I've been coping with COVID uh, anxiety and I think it's, it's a natural reaction. I've actually been seeing a bunch of people writing about it in the news. Um, oh, and I wanted to do a cleaning wanted to do a cleaning schedule here. So let's see, hopefully I can fit, mm, that's gonna be tight. Um, hmm. All right, well, you know what? Let's just, we'll play with it and see um, what I can do here. Uh, you know what? Yeah. Okay. I'll just keep going. I might have to move one of these into a different section of the week, which is not a huge deal, as long as I have space to put it in somewhere. Uh, the next week one, I'll just skip. I don't really need that. And maybe I don't need Happy Mail. So spending is probably my most important priority. So I'm going to use this and this, and then we, we should be all set. So this is... I, I don't know about you guys, but I've definitely been spending most of my money on food items. Uh, my grocery bill is astronomical right now. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's the case. And I, you know, I just live with my husband, so it's kind of shocking uh, how astronomical that is. But, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, so I always like to put down um, Monday morning, just a little quick and easy thing. And then I'm going to use these checklists. So they don't, they kind of clash a little bit, TBD, but you know what? It's okay. It's okay. Um, because this is really, I mean, it's definitely more pretty than functional sometimes, but last week I really I didn't have enough room. I thought I was only going to need those three things and I needed way more room for all the stuff that I had to do. So, so these are great. I love uh, how functional Charlotte Paper Co's icons are because it's very clear what this is and I don't have to write out, take out trash. Like it's very obvious to me. Um, so, and then I'm going to do that and okay. So I'm just going 
grab. I like the Papermate Ink Joy Gel 05 pen. That's always been really useful for me. So I'm going to be tracking. Take medicine and maybe I'll do um, take vitamins. Important, I'm just going to look this up. This is my cleaning schedule. So laundry, bathroom, kitchen, and then let me have to look. Okay, floor, dust, organize, living room. And so I tackle each one of these things on each day and that gives me a little bit of um, just task awareness into what's going on. Okay, so I'm gonna take, Monday is trash day. I'm gonna do my laundry on Monday. Um, I'm gonna leave this blank for the moment. And then I'm going to um, put in, I have a class on Monday. So let me go ahead and consult. This is my very, very large bursting at the seams sticker book. And I actually think I'm gonna need to get another one, which is very telling. <laughs> um, so I was looking for my classes. I've been kind of rearranging everything. Uh, oh, these are my new Once More With Loves. So let me see. These are my class stickers. Just move that over to the side for a minute. So I've been trying to pick out things that go with my pattern. I do have a green here. I have the yellow and maybe... Um, maybe this peach color. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'm actually gonna kind of go below because I have a special practicum sticker that I can use to place right there because that's my practicum class. So this semester I'm taking three classes. I am taking my practicum, which is uh, practicum three and I don't want to like here I'll just do it like that because <laughs> I don't want to take up extra space I did that last week and I regretted it I like having space to move stuff around so um, there we go I, I believe I actually have also let's just put that stuff aside I have a therapy session on so here's my therapy script. This is from Cricut Paper Co. She has really cute, um, really, really cute detailed things here. Where is my quarantine script? Quarantine, where are you? Oh, you know what? I moved it. <laughs> you know quarantine has taken over your life when you have an entire set of stickers just for quarantine in your sticker album. It's a whole new thing, guys. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I have here, oh, you can't see any of this. Here's my quarantine. <laughs> so I've got, let's see, I've got Once More With Love. This is my um, Zoom sort of friendly one. <laughs> I might use one of these because those are cute. And then this is just calling in. This was a sampler from Chic Blossom Prints. And I was going to, I bought these initially to use to put <laughs> when my uh, husband was working from home because his job allows him to work from home a couple of days a week and now he's working from home full time so I haven't really used them because I didn't want to like waste them but I really love having him home so and then this is from the Twin Mermaids this cute little <laughs> very sweet so I think but this is really what I was looking for Th these are hand lettered scripts from Cricut Paper Co she was one of the first shops I saw to actually put out a quarantine script for planners and at first which I thought was kind of funny people were using these once a day and I was like oh you are gonna need way more than one sheet, people. Um, so yeah, I like to mark that we are in week 13 of quarantine, if you can believe that. I kind of can't. So let's do an is it Monday again? Munchkin. We'll just put it right up here. That is really cute. <laughs> okay, I love that. All right, so we've got Trash, laundry, um, I said I had a therapy appointment. So let's use one of these little boxes here. Oh, let's use one that isn't purple because I just used purple. So 
and this helps just helps me remember that I have it um, these stickers so this this lettering these are actually on removable mat uh, which means you have to use a completely different kind of pen so if I was using these full boxes I'd have to use a pen that was more permanent than this one so that's the one thing I'm not crazy about with her shop however her prices are so good and the stickers are so cute that kind of can't resist so I'll just reorganize later <laughs> That's famous last words, right? I'll reorganize later. Um, and I've been doing all of this. Oh, hi, Vinny. My cat is, <laughs> oh, here's where everything falls apart. Say hi, Vinny. Say hello. Yeah, you can't see him, but he's there. He's, he's lurking in the shadows. <laughs> oh, what a cute baby. Okay, all right. He never made an appearance, so, but you can see the light changed a little bit. <laughs> Oh, that's too bad. I would have liked him to be on camera at least once, just so people know I'm, I have a cat. Uh, all right, so I have class from 7.30 to 9 p.m. Uh, on that date. And then I have another class on, we'll do lemon. I have another class at, from 7 to 7.45 on this date and that's just play AAC alternative and augmentative communication and that's really just a class about looking at alternative ways to communicate using either um, like an iPad app where you can punch out the words you want to say or a book where you can point to different things um, it's really fascinating and a great tool even for people who um, are typical speakers because sometimes uh, especially for teaching kids the basics of literature so I do really think that's cool okay moving on back to all this other stuff so let's use a light pink I'm just gonna push this right up to the top there and try and keep that looks crooked as whatever okay <laughs> what are you gonna do right and I'm trying to remember how I did this this is my previous spread so I'm really just following this thing right here. So I'll just put another, let's go, let's go lemon. Let's go lemon. Uh, okay. Just stick that right there. All right. So Tuesdays I have class and then I have, I like to have dinner with my husband right before that and I also like to do dinner um, I do dinner basically from 6 to 7 on those dates so just making sure that I mark that off appropriately and then I don't have class on Wednesdays so I'm gonna stick one of these here at the bottom just to kind of lay down the base everybody does this just a little bit differently some people won't start planning until they've laid down all of their base stickers I just prefer to lay stuff down as I think of it <laughs> uh, which is not always the best tactic but can be useful you know uh, okay and so I've also been doing little zoom night with some friends right after that so I'm actually gonna mark that with a uh, zoom sticker which I'll do in a second all right one thing at a time one thing at a time and this is my dysphagia class, and this goes from 8 p.m. to 9.15, right? And then once a week, I do a, uh, let's see, I do a Zoom happy hour with my girlfriends from high school. And that has been a real fun thing that I look forward to every week. Um, and the other thing I'm doing is a totally different happy hour, which now I'm trying to think of what, what I can put there. Um, let's see. All right, well, one thing I know I'm definitely gonna need to do is simulation. So as part of our practicum, we've been given cases that we have to do on a program called SimuCase, which has been really fascinating. 
And so what I try and do is we usually get two or three, so I try and do it. I'll do at least two there. Um, okay, what else? What else? Oh, I do a coffee date with my friend in the mornings. And let's see, do I have a coffee sticker here? I do. Okay, let's use this one just because it's handy. I do a little coffee chat. And I love talking on the phone during this time. I think it's really important to connect. And sometimes it's just easier to talk on the phone than it is to attempt a conversation uh, with Zoom. Zoom is exhausting in and of itself. It's its own monster. And so I think having the option is really helpful. Uh, okay. And then I know I'm gonna have dinner with Frank here. So we'll just do it like that. And all right, let's see what else we have going on. Let's use a cleaning sticker for the kitchen. And I'm gonna use uh, hmm. Oh, I had one there too. That's fine. I drink a lot of coffee. I will make good use of that also. Uh, okay. All right. Oh, let's see. We can pepper this up a little bit. Make it a little more fun. Uh, all right. So I've got a big full box there I think just so I can focus on my zoom stuff um, let's see what do I have let's go through these are really fun so I got a bunch of study stickers I love these with the cat distractions oh my gosh I love them so much in fact I love them so much I'm gonna use one uh, and since we have gold and I haven't used, I'll pull that out as well. But I was really just gonna pull one of these two. I have too many choices. It's kind of amazing. I'm into it. Just give me choices, you know? <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, so sometimes people say like, why are you spending your time putting stickers all over stuff? This can be a visual aid to see how much time you're gonna spend doing certain things. That's why these full boxes, quarter boxes, half boxes, the idea is that the majority of your day is being taken up by these specific tasks. And so when you have different um, blocks in your day, you can really dedicate what you're doing. Oops, I pulled the wrong one. There we go. <laughs> uh, let's do, these are so fun. Let's do a, um, let's do a yellow, lemony yellow, and just pick that there. That's just to indicate, I'll probably be working on some async. Actually, I know exactly what I want to do with this. This is where I'm going to spend time. I want to do my time, my management plan for, um, my proc three class. It's, an, it's not due on this date, it's actually due next week, but I wanna make sure that I start working on it so that if I have any questions about it, I can talk to my professor that night. So that's definitely something I wanna do there. So, good call there. And then I'm gonna mark off another full box up here at the top. This is primarily going to be for, here, I like this guy. I don't have a cat that looks like this, but it's just really cute. <laughs> I love that. All right. So we've got, I need another simulation sticker here because I'm going to be working, doing, presumably doing another simulation. The first week we got three cases. The second week we only got two, but this, it's a, averages about three hours a week. So if we, I'll probably do one more simulation one on here. And then, yeah. So I definitely am gonna wanna work on my uh, AAC async. 
and that'll be for week five. And yeah, I don't really ever know exactly what my, so this is where the planning kind of fails me. For those of you who are in my cohort and you're watching this, trying to figure out how I plan, I do have a Google Doc, which helps me keep track of all of my assignments. I have started to sort of do the same thing over and over again, where on Tuesdays I focus on Prac 3 async, which I'll just put right here. Um, so I try and do the async the very next day, just so I've had the class fresh in my mind and I can just sort of work on it. So that's how I'm trying to manage everything. So that by Thursday, I will have completed all of the async for the following week and then I can start to review it on the weekend. Uh, but yeah, so there we go. And I have deadlines. So everything that's due for AAC is due by 7 p.m. the night before. Everything that's due for dysphagia is due by 7 p.m. on Wednesday. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday are the only three days of the week where I don't have hard deadlines. Sunday, I have stuff that's due for PRAC 3 due. So what I've been trying to do is I finish all of my PRAC assignments. Like if there's a paper or an added assignment, I finish it by Saturday. I do the AC assignment that's due on Sunday. And this way I've built in an extra day just to make sure that if something goes wrong, if there's a family emergency, if something fun happens and I don't have time to finish or the project is taking me longer, this way I'm giving myself an extra day as like a buffer. And that's really been working well for me. It definitely worked well for me last semester. Okay, so I have three deco things left and I have four days. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to not have anything decorative on Friday. I'll put this in right at the top here. And oops, sticky, 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 sticky. And then, sorry, the light is kind of getting away from me. And then I'll do something how did I do this for Thursday last time? Oh, okay, I see what I did. I built in room for dinner there. So then I'll just use a checklist on Friday and, and I'll throw in something else. Okay, so these are a little matchy-matchy, but who cares? All right, and then I'm gonna throw in this big ass weekend sticker, which is the most extra thing because if you don't know when your weekend is, actually these days I might need a weekend sticker to tell me when the weekend is. The days just blend together and I can't tell the difference anymore. So it is what it is. And then how did I do this for Friday? Friday I had a to-do list and then a checklist. So maybe what I'll do is I'll put a checklist here like that just to get that going and then I'll have space for events here and here because Sunday is a day when I always want to make sure I'm getting stuff done and then I'll just put this up here like so and now I've used basically the whole sheet the only thing that's left is this little sticker which I'm going to use to mark dinner all right, dead sheet, dead soldier, uh, which is such a gross concept. I don't know why I just said that. Please ignore that. Oh, I wanted to put this someplace. I guess, hmm. I guess Thursday is as good a day as any to stick that somewhere. And I was going to track Happy Mail. Happy Mail is any package or piece of mail that comes to you. It can be mail that you send out, it can be mail that you receive, it can be snail mail, it can be packages, it can be email, it can be anything. So it's cute. It's nice that, you know, people care, I guess. Um, I'll just do a little next week sticker down there so I can write anything important. And all right, what else? Okay, so let's go back to planning. I need a checkbox there. Let's use this purpley pinkish color. That's gonna clash so hard with the thing above it, but that's okay. 
and I have like zero room for events, which is good because Thursday is a day where I really should be doing more schoolwork. Uh, here, I know that I'm going to be doing a happy hour there, so I'll just mark that. And that is a cohort happy hour. We did this last week and I had such a good time. So you can see how I've been tracking all of the things. Sometimes there's a happy hour here with another group of friends. It's a lot of happy hours in a week. So I try really, really hard to figure out my alcohol consumption and just make sure that I'm making track for all of that. Okay, so this is one thing that I am still doing. I am still writing. Thank you notes, which I can use that. Oh, it's been a challenge to really get all that stuff done. Thursday is my recycling day. This is one icon that Charlotte Paper Co. does include, which I really appreciate because recycling can actually be more of an issue than trash. So let's see. All right. And movie night yes okay so every Saturday night we do movie night at the house and we've been alternating back and forth who does what movie so uh, we also order out so I'm just gonna mark this here and I'll just write it above just write it right next to it wherever we end up ordering out from but that's our night to order out oh wait a second this is important i almost forgot to mark this down and now i'm really glad i didn't and i'm just gonna cover part of this up but that's okay it's decorative it's my father-in-law's birthday I think that means we're going to order from Ortobello, which, oh, I would be so happy if we did that. But, yeah, okay, something to consider there. I might have some fancy, fancy meal happening there. Ooh, I'm, I'm, see, I'm already looking forward to the next week. This is good. This is another benefit of planning for a week, is you can really try and lay out all of your stuff. All right, I'm going to do one more simulation sticker on... Thursday. Uh, all right. This is important too. This I've been doing something new, which is I build in parts of the day that are just for me. I don't have to focus on doing stuff. I can cross stitch. I can relax. I can watch TV. This is important. This is so important. I can't even tell you. It has changed a lot of things for me for, for COVID. Or for just being on top of things. And I really do think that it's important to keep that balance going. Alright, we've got these fun stickers here. Hmm, which one should I do? I don't think it's going to be really stressful. So... Let's just, by the end of the week, I am pretty tired though, but I'm going to use this cute little sticker right here just to mark some of my, my tasks. All right. Yeah, I ended up not needing all of those. I'm done with my classes. Okay. So we have, I'm going to do I've actually kind of been leaving the blank so that I remember what I've been eating for dinner. Uh, so I'm not going to fill the rest of these out. I'm just going to leave this alone. What did I say with my day to dust the floors? Thursday. Or excuse me, not dust. Clean the floors. So we've got that going. Um, and actually what I'm going to do, I just realized we're definitely going to be ordering out. So let's just put that there because this is my date night with Frank so we're 
There we go. I don't know what the movie's going to be because Frank's going to be picking for that week. So that'll be fun. Um, so I still have some icons here. I have this cute little flag here. And then a bunch more things here. This is fun if I'm doing, if I have like a seminar or if there's something really interesting going on. I still have one of these left, which will come in handy. Um, oh, and I don't have a checkbox here. Let me put one of those down because I still like to get stuff done during the weekend. It doesn't usually start until the afternoon because, yeah, this is not what my planner looks like. But since I've been doing these on filming these on Saturdays, just go ahead and put that in. And yeah, I do Instagram whenever I go to sticker haul, so I'm just gonna hold on to that. Haven't been using these for 13 weeks. <laughs> uh, I still have this extra weekend sticker. These will get saved and reshuffled around. So, but this looks really bare, but it's not gonna be bare. Oh, this I wanted to use here. Oop. These are so cute. Every Sunday morning, Frank and I have pancakes. So I thought these would be fun to mark uh, our Sunday traditions. And I'm just really into it. <laughs> okay, so let's see. This looks so bare bones and blank. Um, I have, I have not too much else going on right now. I have lots of different, so I'm going to be doing this, this I'm going to do, this will be my, oh, you know what I wanted to start working on was the, now I remember, it was, um, I'm doing this program where we learned how to do modified barium studies and I haven't started doing the training level yet and I really really have to so I'm going to put this in in a couple of places this week just because I know that it's going to take a long time and I'll do it up here too what I like about these is that because there's no foil I can just draw over it when I've completed the task and that is really helpful. Um, okay, so I've got dysphagia, AAC, and my practicum class. You really can't see that, it kind of blends in. Oh well. Oh, I have to return a package. Do I have something for that? Not really, okay. This is something I have to do on Monday. Monday's starting to fill up a little bit. Um, I ordered some clothes from Old Navy that unfortunately are not the right size, so I have to I have to do a return of that. I have to send my friend her wedding gift, which was a cross stitch, a wedding planner, and some some of these fun stickers. And I've been waiting for her to get her mail key, and she finally has it because so, she just moved. It's been a crazy week, so I have to return that as well. So I was trying to sort of stockpile all my packages so that I only had to do this, go to the place once. Next week is the week when everything starts to open again. So I'm a little worried about what is going to, what's, what the world is going to look like basically, but we'll see. Hopefully no one will get into too much trouble. And, oh, I had a brand new, I got these funny little sloth stickers from Twin Mermaids. And I like to do, I always try to sleep in on Saturdays. Hasn't been working too well lately, but you know, <laughs> we try, we try and do things there. And, oh, and I've been reading on Sunday nights, which I really, really like and cross stitching. So hold on more stuff and then I'm going to be done. So what am I doing? Why am I doing all this off camera? Yeah. <laughs> The whole point of this is so you can see the madness in its raw form. All right, here's my cross stitch, which I definitely am going to use. One of these. And reading. Okay. I'll use one of these because they're 
handy. Uh, the New York Public Library had this great statistic, which was something like they've had a surge of people getting library cards, something like 481% of people have signed up for a library di to get out digital materials, which kind of warmed my heart. I was like, I've been telling you people, you know, you need to get your library cards, all my friends. Uh, I used to have this thing about dating, which was I wouldn't date anybody who didn't have a library card. And I was dating my now husband for a couple of months before I found out he didn't have a library card. He now has one, but yeah, that's how great he is. I overlooked this. Um, I just finished a great book called Black The Blackbird Girls, which is a middle grade uh, novel about Chernobyl. And it, it's told from alternate perspectives of a young Jewish girl, her, um, her classmate, and both of their parents worked in the Chernobyl plant and everything else that happens to them as a result of that disaster. And it was really timely because I was also watching the miniseries Chernobyl, which was really great, but also really terrifying. So <laughs> just, you know, something to think about and keep in mind. But I liked that concept of pairing a book with whatever I was watching on TV. It felt like multimodal learning in a cool way. So I've been listening to the audiobook of The Other Wes Moore, and I've been watching a lot of documentaries about um, the Black Lives Matter movement and different events about Black history in America that I wasn't as aware of. So I, again, I will list all those things down below, but it is cool to do both the reading and the visual together. I think it makes a difference. I am working on a cross-stitch project for my friend Kristen. And I'm also doing one for my friend Chloe. Chloe's is as done as I can possibly get it because I'm still missing some colors, whereas Kristen has three different elements, so I'm gonna be doing that a lot, but I just like those stickers. And this looks super blank. <laughs> uh, but just to give you a sense of what it will look like eventually is this. So I really do fill things out um, every, like right here, <laughs> you know, it's, I know exactly what I have to write there actually, but, and tonight I'm watching this, which is exciting. But for now, this is, I think, what I'm gonna be focusing on. And I'm gonna add more stickers in and I will show what this spread looks like at the very end of the week. So, and then I'll just really quickly, um, this is kind of how I did my bullet journaling this week. I didn't do a ton of planning this week. Which sometimes happens, you know, you can set everything up and you can stick with it, but as long as you're utilizing it for your own purposes, you know, there's no judgment about what's good planning and what's not good planning. Um, so looking ahead, I'm going to, I should be receiving, I'm still waiting on my academic planner to arrive because there's been some delays from Michael's, um, but that is a horizontal layout, so I'm going to be showing that. I'm also going to start showing videos of me moving into the new Erin Condren planner, which doesn't start until July 2020, but it is... I've never worked with one before, so I wanted to start early and start peppering in some of the things. Plus, now I'm getting deadlines for July. So that'll be really exciting to start something new. And then, um, additionally, I've also been working on Cultivate Power Sheets, which is a goal planner that I'm still working through the prep work for that. So if you are interested in seeing any of those videos, please let me know in the comments. And thanks again for sticking around. Have a good week, everybody. Stay safe.